Hey fam, Aaliyah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Mastering the Finesse. Mastering the Finesse is my makeup series in which I in-depthly break down and teach from the most complex to the most simple makeup techniques, skills, concepts. I've been doing kind of very extra and complex makeup techniques in the last few Mastering the Finesse videos, so I decided to bring it back to the simplistics, bring it back to the basics. Winged liner is one of my favorite makeup looks, to be honest. I could wear this makeup look every day if I wanted to. You know, if I had to pick one makeup look to wear for the rest of my life, okay, it'd be this one. It'd be winged liner, dramatic lashes. It just looks good with any lip color. It looks good with any outfit. It looks good at any occasion you have to go to, okay? You just look put together. You look glam. You look glamorous. You look sexy. You look sultry. You look classic. And I just love how flirtatious it makes my eyes look and winged liner is just an overall a very beautiful simplistic makeup look by the way do you like my backdrop i mean come through right the way it's contrasting with my orange head wrap i mean it's so without further conge if you are interested in learning how to perfect how to master the finesse of a winged liner eye look then keep on watching i hope you learned something and i hope you enjoy this video <laughs> All right, so I would recommend using a 10 times magnified mirror um, and looking down so you can see everything you are doing and so you don't mess up your liner while looking up and doing it. We're going to prime our lids. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. We just want to even out our lids, cancel out any veininess, and I'm just going to blend that out with the Morphe G34 brush because it just blends out my lid base so seamlessly, so flawlessly. And we do want to make sure our lid base is set, so I'm going to use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder with the Morphe M208 brush because we don't want this concealer slipping and sliding and mixing in with our liner. And then, just this is just optional, I just like to highlight my brow bone. Since I'm not wearing any shadow with this look, I just like to lift up my brow bone and add a pop of highlight. Moving on to the most important part of this tutorial, duh! Um, I would recommend a gel or clay paint liner and a bent angled liner brush. This will give you much more control than a classic liquid liner in that pen form. I just like to start off lighting my lash line. This just gets the feet wet. It gets you comfortable with using the liner, so I just like to roughly line my lash line before I start the whole winged liner process. And this is just a roughed draft i like to use the gel or clay paint liner as a rough draft for my wing for my wing i like to go in the direction of the tail of my brow depending on where your brow ends um try to go in that direction this just gives you guidance on how to go about your wing so this is just rule of thumb you don't have to do this but this is just what i like to do and i like to use small strokes don't do long strokes just do very small strokes to give you much more control oh girl we gotta play that back okay i'm gonna break this down okay so to connect the wing i like to go backwards this gives you so much more control and it keeps the liner tapered you don't make it too big on like on the center lid you know what i'm saying so i like to do it backwards and then i just like to start filling in the wing this gives you so much more control it's such a smooth application and the wing the end result of the wing is just very smooth okay so i just like to go ahead and fill in the wing with the liner very little product and again we're using smaller strokes All right, and just to sharpen the wing, I just like to use very minimal product and I just like to flick the brush at the tail of the wing. And I like to make a curved shape kind of where my eye closes, you know, the, the, the corner of my eye, I like to sort of curve that out. I'm comparing both sides. This wing does need to be thickened a little bit. I like to thicken it from the wing because it remains tapered. You don't want to start thickening your liner in the inner corner or the center lid because then the shape will just look a little wonky. I like to thicken it from the outer wing and do that backward brush stroke it just gives you so much more control the wing shape is just very beautiful now we're going to start cleaning up the wing i like to use a liquid liner for this i'm using the nyc liquid liner you can use any favorite liquid liner of yours and it's just easier to glide so i just use 
the easy glidingness just to start cleaning up my wings smoothing out my wing because i have some ridges as you can see i just like to glide it over those ridges just just to smooth out the winged liner do you see that girl Okay, now I just like to clean up the edge of my wing. That's why I would recommend not doing your foundation first. I would do it after this. So I just like to take a Morphe E43 brush, a little bit of that Kevin Aquan concealer, but use any concealer you prefer. And I just like to clean up that wing. This creates the illusion that you really did that, okay? You really are very talented with winged liner. Your wing is super sharp, super cleaned up. I love this trick. It just makes people think that you really are really talented with winged liner. And I just like to blend out that concealer. This is a Luxie Beauty 227 brush. And the last step, I love to tight line my upper waterline. This is a MAC Feline Eye Coal. You can use any eye coal or eyeliner you would like. This one is just super, super black. We don't want any skin showing in our upper lash line because that liner is super opaque. So we have to match that on the waterline. So I just like to tight line my waterline. And then I just like to dress up my winged liner with some dramatic lashes, a little pop of inner corner highlight, and this completes the winged liner look and tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and close out this video, so stay tuned, y'all. Okay, fam, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you are now a master of winged liner. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, I hope you decided to subscribe by the end of this video. I would love to have you join my channel and be a part of my makeup journey. Before I close out this video, I do want to give a post notification shout out to Nani Marie. Thank you so much for having my post notifications on. I appreciate you so much. You are always showing me love in every video. Starting your morning off watching me, I mean, wow. Thank you, girl. If you would like an appreciation shout out in one of my videos, be sure to hashtag notification squad or notification gang because I see some of you commenting notification gang. After your comment, tap that bell to be notified of my future uploads as I do try to upload about two to three videos every week. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And until next time, always remember to serve, honey. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.